We're here at ETH Denver. I'm here with Wasim from Chain Sites uh, to learn more about what they're accomplishing. Uh, so Wasim, let's just start with, we were talking beforehand and you were saying that you've been in crypto for 10 years. Kind of walk me through your journey to get into crypto and where you're at now. Sure. Um, I started as a family office uh, based in the Middle East and we were actually deploying capital into early days uh, VC funds. Uh -huh. uh, that was back in 2015. Uh, that was one of the mission to actually look into flip, you know, uh, early returns. Okay. And that's uh, when we start looking into Bitcoins and, you know, uh, a lot of altcoins that was out there. A lot of projects were actually building foundations. Uh, and that was where we started. So, OK, awesome. How did how did that evolve into what you're doing now with Chainsight? Oh, yeah. Um, after that, we started doing funds back in 2017. So I was one of the early uh, partners for one of the VC firms, uh, mainly for crypto. Uh, and we deployed uh, good capitals and raised 50 million in three days. Uh, deployed into very early DeFi projects. DeFi summer came in. Uh, that was great, right? Uh, I was mainly in charge and I really like DeFi infrastructure uh -huh. myself. But uh, I hit to a point where the ecosystem and overall the crypto industries were just getting boring every single day. Um, and it was just kind of a good, we came into 2021, late 2021, 2022, where I met my co-founder. Um, he was in DeFi himself. Uh, it did kind of look into, you know, he was going very, it was a good project back then, uh, but I really kind of felt that it wasn't for him. Uh, okay. You know, uh, so, so we kinda, just didn't. It wasn't kind of fitting with uh, with it. it. Yeah, um, it looked like he could have done more, and he okay. had much better idea. And I, from my perspective, was the data itself, where Chainsight's more on the open data layer, okay. uh, network layer. Uh, we wanted to do this to kind of save and be the frontier of all the DApps to come in, uh, and we started Chainsight back in 2022. I mean, 10 years in, in crypto is a long time. It, things evolve very really quickly. It takes a lot of fortitude to kind of stay in this industry. Like what attracts you to crypto that they haven't just said, you know what, maybe I just want a nine to five, uh, like a normal, uh, um, uh, a normie job. I think um, I've never had a nine to five job okay. to be exact uh, since I was uh, working since 15 years old. Um, so mindset of nine to five wasn't there, okay. to be honest. Uh, it was more of, you know, accomplishment, uh, hiring, managing people uh, in different industries. I was a retail in investor, um, retails, uh, working like convenience store as a chain. Um, so it was totally different game balls. Uh, but 10 years, I think being here, it's it was it looks like more of 90s. I'm definitely okay. early 90s. You know, I've survived there okay. uh, myself. Uh, that vibe was, it's still here. It's changing rapidly. Yep. Uh, newcomers are coming in. It's not the era where it, back in 2015 to 20, I think 19, where it was more of a developer kind of focused. Now it's more of normal people coming into the industry and I like it, right? What do you have? I mean, one of the things about like this conference that we look around, is a lot of new entrepreneurs entering the space. Like what would you advise them in terms of like how to succeed in in this industry? I think for, first thing, first of all, is definitely take care of your health and okay. take care of your mind. Uh, support your family first. Uh, so as a team uh, within Chase Side as well, the family comes first, right? Okay. Uh, and, Don't burn yourself out. Yeah, yeah. And if you if you feel like if you're burning too much, uh, there's always a support. You just need to ask uh, and you'll have a team member who will recognize you because they're seeing you every single day. Okay, yeah. So let's, let's dive deeper into chain site. So you, you described it as a, as a, um, a data layer for, uh, for like multi-chain purposes. Can you kind of walk us through like um, how you guys envision like oracles and how you're redefining that? Sure, um, so as I mentioned, we're more like a new generation kind of an open data network layer. Uh, so we do oracles, we do indexing, we do uh, IPs, so RWAs to DeFi's, uh, normal price feeds. And the space right now where Chainside is, is basically, I think there's top-notch, you know, data providers out okay. in the game. 
but data, first of all, data shouldn't be expensive, right? Uh, second thing is the smart contracts are limited and storage, how do you stuff all yeah. those data bytes within? Uh, w when we started Chainside back in 2022, uh, we were very opportunity, like we were looking into, we spent probably four or five months doing research who to work with actually. Um, and we were lucky enough to actually work with Divinity Foundation, first of all. We had a great dinner table, um, spoken about the concept of Chainside. Uh, the guys in Divinity Foundation, including Dom and everyone was very excited about it. They were like, let's do this, right? Yeah. Uh, we did struggle in the beginning because Oracle isn't sexy, data isn't sexy. Um, you're not layer one, you're not layer twos, you're not, you know, uh, giving ROIs, APYs, yeah. everything. Uh, but I think the narrative has changed into educating people more deeply. We've been working with universities uh, on issuing academic papers, uh, and I believe in the educational portion of it. Uh, so as Chainside, we're not only targeting the crypto natives as, you know, let's provide oracles. Another oracle provider has come into the market. It's not that. We're oh. doing a lot more than that, that we can support the dApps itself, the chain itself, as well as, you know, contributing to the X system yeah. like Definity and ICP. Well, data is still the new oil, right? Um, so it's super important. In terms of ICP, what, what were the features that attracted you to the, to the chain and, and that you guys take most advantage of? Uh, first of all, it was the storage portion of it, okay. since, you know, you guys are being like a new kind of wave of AWS uh -huh. on the market. And I think it was more decentralized in storage is something that we're looked, we were looking definitely for. Uh, the cost perspective, okay. uh, bringing off-chain to on-chain is very expensive, right? And that was something that we wanted to solve as well. Uh -huh. uh, using Canister as an ICP, we were able to kind of solve that. Uh, we were able to solve where other providers are able to show where the data source is coming from uh -huh. by using Canister. Any public information is available to open up. Um, so it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, uh, the project itself or the chain itself. But I just need to open up the catastrophe, see where the data source is coming from, validate yourself. If you believe in what the, where the data is coming from, yep. use it. Yep. What about um, like the next six to 12 months for Chainsight? Like, do you guys have any big plans, any big releases, anything you want to kind of highlight? Sure. Um, during the startup Eat Denver, uh, two days ago, we actually did like a rebrand kind of thing. So I think you nailed it right. Uh, where data is the new oil, we we came into data is the new gold kind of futures, okay. yeah. uh, and we I have like a beautiful that. marketing uh, PR over there. But uh, the concept was really good. Uh, we did hit to a market of we wanted to play with data. We wanted to serve service that data into the market itself. Uh, so that was the very first one, especially in ETH Denver. Second, we will definitely have a lot more announcement to come. Uh, usually we do announcements every week on co-marketing uh, partnership across DAPS chains. Uh, we'll have a good alpha probably coming up for end of March. Okay. That's the first one, which is a big one with a revamp of UI UX. Uh, with our platform that will be released. Second one will be in end of March. I'm not able to say it right now, but that's going to be a huge thing uh, that will kind of shake the data space also. Okay. Uh, and then third thing I would say next six to 12 months for us is building the team, right team. We've already have uh, the best, you know, uh, team members out here. Uh -huh. uh, and some are already here in US, uh, Asia, all across the globe. Uh, we were very successful. And I, as a co-founder myself, I'm really happy to have these team members uh, with me, uh, you know, kind of looking forward for the bright future. So you mentioned a couple of pieces of alpha are coming out real soon. Where do people go to kind of keep up to date on Chainsight and find out more information? And what should they be uh, keeping an eye on? Like what social handles should they keep an eye on? For sure, for X, you know, uh, underscore uh, Chainsight. Okay. Uh, you'll find a new alpha over there. Uh, we've been posting every single day about what's coming in, uh, even the highlights from last week. 
Uh, that's something that we've been doing. We're definitely working on our marketing because, you know, again, data isn't sexy and we want we want to make data sexy as well. Okay. Um, so that's definitely going to be improving. We definitely want feedback from everyone else, including yourself, the foundation itself, and any of the dApps that we work with. So, Awesome. Well, Steve, you guys are doing awesome work at Chainsaw. Keep it up, and I look forward to seeing more from you. Thank you very much. Thank you.